Hey guys, Chris and the Ultimate Recycler. Welcome back to the channel where almost anything goes in the quest to keep stuff out of landfill. Uh, I'm going to challenge my worms today. I have a tray here of uh, the offcuts of jalapeno chilies. Uh, these are ones that Christine's grown at home and she's doing a video soon on her channel, uh, or she might have it up now depending on when I post this. Uh, of uh, she's pickling the chil chilies for preserving them so this is the leftover bits and she thought she'll give them to the ultimate recycler to pass them on to the worms now how are the worms going to go with chilies i don't know i think most uh most guides you read about feeding worms would say definitely not but nothing gets in the road of a, ch of a test here and a challenge for my worms so let's stick them in a bed here and see what happens so you can see here it's all the ends. I'm not actually going to touch them because I'll forget and I'll rub my eyes and I'll regret it. So they're in a big foil tray, which incidentally, when we're finished with, can be folded up or scrunched up and can go in the curbside recycling bin. I have a garden test bed here, which I haven't really used for much testing. Uh, it's been damp and I have been getting rid of some veggie scraps from the bakery. You can see there's a few carrots left. There was, uh, I put a whole bucket of lettuce in here a while back, and I have done a test on lettuce before. Looks like most of it's sort of disappeared. There are a few worms in here, not a great deal, but it did dry out a little bit the other or last week, and I've only just sort of been watering it the last couple of days, and the worms have obviously come back in. So there's not a huge population, but they are around. As with all my tests, um, it's not technically a worm farm. It's just an active spot in my garden where... I feed the worms and they come and they multiply. Of course, we get all sorts of other creepy crawlies come in as well. Uh, I see there's a lot of springtails jumping around there. Uh, we do get lots of slaters and other of nature's composters. I also get a few spiders join in from time to time. Uh, what else we got there? The spider running across there. There's a couple of slugs. We get all sorts of things. So that's actually a redback, I think. Anyway, um, I don't bother them and hopefully they don't bother me. So, we'll spread these jalapeno chilies out. Um, just an even sprinkling. Uh, there's a lot of seeds with them, so I wonder if I'm going to get any chilli plant plants come up here. It's possible. Anyone that's thrown pumpkin scraps into a compost bin soon knows that you get a lot of seeds sprout and you get pumpkin bushes. Same with tomatoes, actually. Okay, that will do. I'll, um, I'll give that a little bit of a water, I'll put the carpet back over, and we'll check it maybe in a week. Uh, if nothing's happened, I won't report, but um, we'll check it in a week, see what's going on. Okay guys, it's actually been two weeks. Uh, I've just been flat out and I haven't got back to checking these chilies. Uh, I did lift the carpet about four days in, just as I was walking past, and I saw a few worms and I thought, beauty, they're obviously not worried by the chilies. Let's see if they come in and eat it. That's a very noisy cricket nearby. Okay, let's have a look. It's been two weeks. Worms. Actually, the chilies have really disappeared. Oh, look at the worms. So, this, remember this spot only had a few worms and they've come in from all over and they're enjoying their chilies it looks like it's all good there's actually a lot of the chilies have disappeared so that's fantastic no problems by the looks of that okay guys so that ends another test um the chilies no problems at all with the worms certainly you could put them in your compost bin you could throw them in your garden um, there's actually no worries uh, i'm actually a bit hot and sweaty but i haven't been eating chilies i've been moving pellets around my yard and it's quite steamy here today I just wanted to finish off this video before it got left any longer. But the bottom line is, don't worry about hot food like chilies. Your worms do not eat the food like we do. So you have to get out of your mind that you don't like the taste of something, therefore the worms won't. And even with citrus, it's not the taste because the worms don't technically eat the food. They pretty well just eat the bacteria that the, the food sort of decomposes by. So the worms don't have the same tastes. They don't have teeth, they don't have eyes to water. So onions, citrus, chilies, 
no problems at all. I've done all the tests. The only thing perhaps with citrus is that you can raise the acidity and that will affect the worms. But, um, you know, in an open garden bed, no problems at all. So thanks for watching, guys. Chilies are a thumbs up. Um, maybe my worms are Mexican. I don't know. But they love the chilies. Okay, bye for now.